Hey guys, welcome to The Awakening. Um, right, I want to talk today about the ego in The Awakening. I want to talk about the ego and what it's actually doing to me today. And I want to know how, you know, if this is happening to you. Um, because the soul is only peace, as we know. So this must be the ego, eh? It can't be anything but the ego. Right. So I got up today and decided I was going to wear this. I was going to make myself look younger and nicer because, I don't know, maybe I'll get more views, eh? <laughs> There's the ego, okay? This is all going to be about what the ego does to you. And no doubt I'll get some lovely comments to say you're all ego, you're all ego. But okay, yes, I am today, okay? I'm all ego today. Do I look nice? Have I got a double chin? Do you like my wig? I'm all ego, okay? The awakening today is all ego. I am going to show you what the ego is doing and why we are trying to let the ego die. And the fact that I'm sitting here doing this shows that I am observing Laura now, okay? And I'm going to make you observe what the ego does to you on a day-to-day -day basis. So this is how it goes, all right? I wake up, Lauren wakes up, and she's had a night from hell, a night from hell where she feels the body feels it's dying. Every single night, the body feels it's dying. These ascension symptoms are worse than ever. The neck, the shoulder, everything's playing up. Lauren lies down, and she wakes up and thinks she's having a heart attack, and she thinks she's dying, okay? <laughs> So she wakes up in the morning with all of this already. Okay, gallons and gallons of stress and, and feeling sick. And, and she wakes up into this world and it's, it's what the hell? She gets out of bed, she can't balance. The body won't balance because of course she hasn't slept. She hasn't slept for eight years. Eight years, she hasn't had one good night's sleep. This is the ego, right? We're observing, we're observing, we're observing, okay? And then she meditates, she does a meditation. Uh, and then the body, the body, the body keeps screaming and the frustration and goes on to check the views. And oh my God, she got 10 views instead of a thousand. And nine months ago, or six months ago, she was getting 250 views for the awakening because she interviewed Charlie Ward. And that's the only way you can get views. Do you understand? This is the ego, the ego, the ego. And then what the hell is she going to do with herself? Then the body starts, the body, the mind, the mind, the body, the ego, the mind, the body, the ego. And Lauren is, I am observing this. Are you observing? Are you observing what happens to you? Are you observing every single day? And then the stream of consciousness comes out about how difficult Lauren's life is, how lonely she is today, where everybody is with their tribe and with their families and they're meditating and they're celebrating or they're on a rally or everyone's doing something. But Lauren, because the body can't function today, Lauren can't get up and face anything. And so that's the ego, the ego, the ego. And then she goes into a list of all the things she's tried to do with her life, coaching and singing and acting and programs and moving on TV. And it goes on and on and on and be off and yada, 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 and this and that and the other and the teeth falling out. And it goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on on and on and on and on. And then someone says to her, you have to drink water, gallons of water. She, she drinks gallons of water. She does everything by telling her. And yet the ego fights and fights and fights. Are you getting me here? Are you getting me here? The ego is fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting the same way as the deep state and the cabal are fighting. When the light comes in, it fights harder, it fights harder. Now, I could have not come on here today and done this. And yet, why not? This is a good excuse for the ego to rant and rave and tell you how fed up I am with all of you because you never come to visit. Not I am, not the soul, the ego. 
because the soul comes in, the observer, and it thinks of Nicholas, Nicholas Hamden, who Lauren interviewed, okay, and thinks of him, and he's living on Monterey Desert because he's being targeted. They do things to his body all the time. You have to watch that program. If you do, you do. The ego's going, ah, they won't watch. The ego is going, they won't bother. And if they do, they won't share it. You're never going to grow, Lauren. You're never going to get anywhere. Moving on TV won't get anywhere. And the ego keeps going and going. It doesn't matter what Lauren knows. It doesn't matter how talented. It doesn't matter how spiritual she won't get anywhere and then the fear comes in oh my god oh my god oh my god doesn't matter what I do I'm stuck I'm stuck I'm stuck and this is the ego 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 okay the ego I'm cold I'm hot the body I'm cold, I'm hot, the mind. Oh my God, oh my God, what am I going to do today? I've got no one. How am I going to get through the day? Mm, shall I do this? Shall I do that? It's too cold, can't go to the allotment. Oh my God, I'm freezing. Oh my God, I'm too hot. It goes on and on and on. Oh my God, that person and that person and that person and that person and this is happening and that is happening. And then you go on social media and they scare you to death about this is happening and that's happening. And oh, and there's some good news. And they're, oh my God, oh my God. And it goes on and on and on. I don't know about you. And the more you meditate, the more the ego comes up and the more it comes up and the more it comes up and the more it comes up. And so today is the awakening 112. And I've done a huge amount of, Lauren has done a huge amount of meditation. Um, okay, not Lauren, the soul has been meditating, or Lauren's been meditating, whatever. But those parts, the ego, the body, the body, the mind, the ego, which is all connected to the thoughts, the fear, the fear that, 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 that the cabal, they thrive on. Is that a field day today? I'm thinking, wow, look at me on Zoom. Zoom is making me look like I'm 30 years old again, and I'm so grateful. And maybe more people will watch me like they watch Anna Brown because she's gorgeous. This gorgeous flowing blonde hair everywhere. And, and you look at her, and it's peace, pure peace. And guess what, Lauren is, and she's ego. Ego, 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 because she doesn't know how to be anything else. Because you've got this child living in there, this child that wants fun and wants to play. That's all she wants. She doesn't want responsibility, or is that the soul? The soul wants, the soul is only peace. And the soul tells you to do whatever makes you feel good play, dance, sing, do whatever, like I did yesterday, dancing and the age of Aquarius. And, but the ego wants you to say, woo! Well done, Lauren. You are such a good singer. We think you're amazing. You look like you're 30 years old. Are you sure you're not 30 years old? You know, that's the ego. And it goes on and on and on and on. And then the ego says to you, you're being evicted, right? You're being evicted. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And one bedroom turns up and you think, nah, the ego's not having that. I'm not having a one bedroom. I live in a one bedroom, it's hell. I want two bedrooms and I want this and I want that and I want the other and I want, I want, I want, I want, I want. That's the ego. So the beautiful Anna Brown is giving you the soul. I'm giving you the ego. Watch this and say, yes, Lauren's ego is everywhere. Good, you get it. Because if you can see that the ego is everywhere, my ego, the ego, because there is no my, this is not my body, this is not my mind, this is the, it's an attachment, it's something that I took on over years and years and years. If you can see that in me, then look at it in yourself. Because you cannot see anything in anyone unless it's in you, do you understand? You all have this. You all have this ego. And it's destroyed your life. And the ego cannot make sense of anything. The ego looks at a family and thinks, why did I get a family? The ego looks at people enjoying themselves and thinks, why can't I have fun? The ego looks at, thing, um, at people 
that if they're getting together today, people are getting together and having fun and, and, the, and, and I'm not there. Why am I not part of this? Well, because I have a temper. The ego has a temper because the ego is losing and losing and losing and losing. So what's the best thing to do with the ego today? The best thing to do is to show it A Course in Miracles or to show it something, to show it that it cannot rule your life anymore. And one of the easiest, best things you can do is, first of all, drink gallons of water, and I am doing that. But one of the easiest, best things to do is, and there it went just now, total synchronicity. Let's see what A Course in Miracles is telling us today. Isn't that weird? And as I say, the ego is going to say, oh, maybe 10 of you will watch this. And it's 112, which is, I've been doing 112 awakenings and only 10 people are watching it. And the only time people watch, 200 people, 250 people watch, is because I had interviewed Charlie Ward. And if you interview Charlie Ward, the Charlie Freak, you get thousands and thousands and thousands of views as subscribers. But if you interview an amazing soul like Dr. Adil that is telling you um, what you need to know, you get hundreds. There's no common sense, yeah? It's a bit like care workers get paid zero money and footballers get millions. No common sense and you're repeating it and the ego is carrying on, it's carrying on. You only want to see what you want to see. You only want to hear what you want to hear, okay? That's the ego again. At the moment, you're listening to people like Charlie Ward and Charlie Freak because they're telling you what you want to hear. And I can't tell you that. I can only tell you what, my, what the reality is. But I'm going to look now. And, and of course, the miracles is eternal holiness abides in me. Eternal holiness abides in me. Let's read it. My holiness is far beyond my own ability to understand or know. Yet God, my father who created it, acknowledges my holiness as him. Our will together understands it and our will together knows that it is so. Father, my holiness is not in me. It is not mine to be destroyed by sin, which is a mistake. It is not mine to suffer from attack. Illusions can obscure it, but cannot put out its radiance nor dim its light. It stands forever perfect and untouched. In it are all things healed, for they remain as you created them. And I can know my holiness, for holiness itself created me, and I can know my source, because it is your will that you be known. And you say on the hour, my holiness, the exercise for today, eternal holiness abides in me. And I don't understand how the alert went on because the light wasn't there. Eternal holiness abides in me. And even though I'm not getting the views, and yes, this is all ego. So I'm admitting it. It's all ego. All of it. Okay. It's to show you what the ego does, what your mind does, what the body does. It plays up, it screams, it shouts, it gets frustrated because you're not working, you're not earning, you don't have any friends, you're cold, you're hot, um, you've lost people, grief, whatever, the world's a mess. You're living in complete loony bin, terrified what's coming from one day to another. Friends are getting sick with this hoax. They're telling them that they're sick with this hoax. And you know in your heart, they can't get sick with this thing because it doesn't exist, all right? Right, it's upside down. Journal. Today is the day to start a journal and to write down your feelings and thoughts. Why should kids have all the fun? Today it's my turn to have the fun, okay? So have fun today and journal. But what I'm saying is this is all ego. And, and, and I don't give a shit what people think. I am telling you what the ego does. I am showing you what the mind does. And on a regular basis, it's continuous, 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 continuous. Then you meditate and you watch it, you watch it, you watch it. But this is what it does, the ego. And those who run away from you are those who cannot face their ego. Because if you're showing it to them, they run away. 
They run away. Because if they were facing their demons and their egos, it's, ah, oh, this is just the ego. <laughs> Lauren's just showing me the ego. Lauren is just um, mirroring something to me that I need to take care of. That's it. End of. End of. So when people come back, it's because they're able to face. I had a friend who came to visit me, the same friend that couldn't see me when I was in a wheelchair, and admitted they can't see me vulnerable. That's the ego. That's fear. That's fear. Fear. So what is it that gets me up every day, that gets Lauren, this body, out of bed? Well, at four o'clock in the evening, I've been meditating a lot, and obviously it's all coming up to be detoxified. What gets me up is to know that I've got a job today to show you the ego. Woo! That's me. And that's what I'm going to show you today, the ego. Here it is. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. And so you bring back that course of miracles or you say, I can choose peace over this ego. What haven't you done today, Lauren? Well, I haven't eaten. Don't get too hungry. Don't get too angry. I'm absolutely raging. Raging because of the world, raging because of the life. The ego's raging. I'm not raging. The soul isn't raging. The loneliness that... The, the, the being stuck in this place because it's too cold to go out. The ego, the ego, the ego, the ego. The soul doesn't feel cold or hot or angry or frustrated. So by telling you this, I'm hoping I'm helping you bring it up. <laughs> Shout it from the rooftops. I'm angry. I'm pissed. I'm scared. I'm, I, I can't take any more. I want peace. I love peace. I'd like to be in peace. God, give me some peace. Have you eaten today? No, I haven't. Are you angry? Yes, I am frustrated and I am angry. Good. Let it all come up. Are you lonely? <laughs> you can, I cannot express how lonely I am. Loneliness has become part of this way I live without people, without humans, with two cats. Lonely, loneliness. The soul cannot be lonely. The soul is complete. Do you understand? Tired, tired of everything. Tired of pain in the body. Tired of the body breaking down. Tired of loneliness. Tired of, tired of even bothering to get up to make a meal today. Tired, 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 tired. Yes, halt. Don't get too hungry, too angry, too lonely, too tired. I'm all of them. And I haven't drunk my two bottles of water yet because I couldn't be bothered to get up. The ego couldn't be bothered to get up. The body couldn't be bothered to face another day of shit, hell, and madness. And so it's here everywhere. Celebrate the ego. Have a beautiful day. Please sign up, share, subscribe, and like. If you don't, the ego will go crazy and get really pissed off. If you don't subscribe, if you don't share, if you don't support, if you don't give Lauren a living to do, if you don't do something to help, the ego will go mad and madder and madder. And I'm doing everything I can to bring it back into balance, to breathe my hematite, drink water. Come back into the now. Come back into the now. I challenge you to tell me if you can do that with an ego like this. An ego that has been on the stage since I was six years old. An ego that is used to audiences and recognition whenever it could get it. That's when the ego was happy. When it was doing no, rien, de rien. Then it was happy. Oh, I'm so glad to meet you. You've been gone so long. I've got so much to tell you. Acting, creativity. But what do you do when they take it away? And you're in a lockdown and you can't perform anywhere. And even before you couldn't perform because it was all about money and support and people. And guess what? Moving on TV is the same. People only support it when you put on Charlie Wood or people like that. They do not support the channel. You put on an amazing soul that's telling you about the dumb, Zelaine. Amazing information. You get 400 views for something so important. 
but you put Charlie Wood on, you'll get 400,000 views. The same as it was before the lockdown. Watch this and change the world for God's sake. Go out there, guys, and stop living from the ego. That's why I'm doing this today, to show you what this ego has done to us, to humanity. And today is a difficult day. And I wanted to come on here and I wanted to show you how, how I'm struggling today. I am, I'm struggling. I'm struggling today and I haven't, I haven't done the basics. So I have to go and eat, drink water, have a cup of tea, a hot drink, meditate, let the anger come up and it's coming up. This is my channel and it's up to me if I bring it out on here for you to learn. Those of you that don't want the anger and have pushed me away, you're not awake. You're projecting an image that is not true. You are not awake. You are stuck in your egos. Because if you weren't, I have people that shout at me and have a go at me and I sit there and I think, yeah, you have every right to. You're scared. You're all living in fear. And yeah, I don't mind projectors on me. It's no big deal. I know it's not personal, but I don't block anybody. I don't block anyone, not unless that they haven't even got the wisdom to understand that you don't wear a mask anymore, that, that you are holding back humanity. Then I'll block them. I block people that tell me to get rid of the cats. I have no empathy whatsoever. Okay. And I'm saying this from the ego, fear, because the soul doesn't need anything. Doesn't need any of you. Three months nearly without any of you. That's the soul. But the ego is having a field day today. Because the body had a bad night, a night of dying, ascension symptoms, and you're all going through it. You're all going through it. But what I'm saying to you is you don't rescue me. I don't want anybody to come here and rescue me. I'm not interested. I want you to look at what your ego is doing to you, what your mind is doing to you. Why are you not at peace? Because if you were at peace, I'd be with all of you today having fun. Okay. Take care. I love you. Take this as you want. It's up to you or don't. There are people out there, as I said, one of you in particular, who said they cannot face me vulnerable. And when I was in a wheelchair, they wouldn't come and visit. So you need to look at yourself. Why can't you see yourself as vulnerable? That's the ego. And this is for people like yourself. People who throw me away like I'm nothing because their egos are so strong. And I'm a teacher and I'm, I'm a mirror, just like everybody else. Your teacher and your mirror. So if you put a nasty message on here, it's because you cannot face yourself. You cannot face yourself. And that's the problem. Okay, I love you. I'm going to go now. I've got to do a meeting, a meetup. Well, I can't remember some kind of meditation or maybe dance. I'm not sure. I love you lots. Um, I know you're in fear, intense fear. Uh, but it's your job now to face it. We're all in fear. I'm in fear of eviction. Nowhere to go. No one to take me in with two cats. And I'm not living in fear. I'm not. I'm meditating. I'm doing everything I can to get through one day at a time. I'm not letting the fear consume me. I know you're all, but we need to bond together to help each other. That's why we were put here, the 144,000 of us, to help each other. So there should be 144,000 people on here. Why aren't there? I love you. Bye.